With the, the state and local officials talking about um, the potential to start syringe service programs in Iowa, um, from a law enforcement perspective, if you could talk about some of the areas that you'd like to see addressed or some of the areas you have concern, um, if those would come to pass, you know, what would you like to see if those would happen? Well, I think the, the first of the, the primary issue that I think we have is um, in some way protecting the drug paraphernalia law uh, in some way so that we could still use that as a tool for our drug investigations because we do get a, a lot of um, furtherance into our drug investigations using drug paraphernalia as kind of leverage against some of these low-level users and then you know we were able to pick off like the the dealers and things uh, by using these these people as informants um, I think uh, second of all um, I think that you know there needs to be some sort of a tracking system um, more than just you know I know uh, as we discussed earlier that there's some people have cards that they give out that say this person's involved in syringe exchange. To me, that's not acceptable. Um, it's it's too broad. Anybody can get get a card anywhere and then go purchase syringes or, or receive syringes from any other person, and there's no accountability there. I think the individual syringes need to be uh, labeled or or have some sort of barcode system on them so that you can tell exactly where that that syringe came from. And so for um, some of the conversations, some of the concerns that you have, obviously um, related to enforcement, but also um, as far as um, usage, I know that there's also some thought talk about whether or not um, they would, would resolve the problem or be properly utilized. Well, you know, that's always a concern. I mean, um, any time you provide more of something um, that's already available, um, it, there's a concern that that might cause excesses um, and um, you know when it comes to providing excess syringes or needles or w whatever you want to call them you know our concern is that in some areas that we've seen articles uh, that um, show that in areas where they have some of these programs you know they have discarded needles uh, laying around uh, they have they have them on the streets and and things um, to me that that's a, a huge public health issue and how are we going to address that if we have these excess supplies around how are we going to ensure that they get put in the places that they need to be put to keep the public safe 